I was uh, officially diagnosed with ADHD as an adult six years ago, and so I know I've had it all my life. I'm curious if you have any tips or words of advice for someone whose brain doesn't work like everybody else's. Yes. I mean, distraction is a huge problem. Discipline is a huge problem. Focus is a huge problem. What, what do you got? I got it. <laughs> Give it to Jeff. Was it Jeff? Was it? Give him a round of applause. So good. I'm gonna come out here. Nice meeting you, man. Somebody take a picture of me Matt, with him. Matt, good job. <laughs> I bet someone has a phone. Nice meeting you, man. Nice now, you talk to a doctor? Yes, I have. Tell me what they told you. Uh, they said You're that talking I, this so they can hear They you. said that I have uh, uh, adult ADHD, yes. Uh -huh. And what do they suggest to you? Uh, I take medication for it. Okay. And also try to meditate and get more sleep and better sleep and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Adjust my environment, but that's, that doesn't work. Do you have family? Yes, I do. Uh huh. What do you got? I have a wife uh -huh. and a 19-year-old son and a 17-year-old daughter. How's your relationship with them? Oh. <laughs> uh, with my kids, it's great. Uh, the last two years with my wife has been rough. We've mm. been married for 24 years, together for 29. Wow. I started... It's amazing. Absolutely. It's amazing. Uh, I started my business, uh, I'm a speaker and a coach, and awesome. I started my business two and a half years ago. Gross household income, whenever that happened, went to a third of mm. what it was the day mm. before. Mm. That's put a magnifying glass on... Other things. Of our, uh, on our relationship, so. Sure, This sure. morning's talk was phenomenal. I mean, Thanks, man. I can't wait to get home. <laughs> <laughs> I got the golden ticket, look, look. Who's gonna show your framework to your partner or spouse when you go, hey, look at this. Um, so let's talk about the focus. Let's talk about the discipline, let's talk about the distraction. Uh, who in the room does not have diagnosed ADHD but also focus, distraction, discipline is a major issue for you? Can you look around the room? Okay. My so people. Let's. <laughs> and by the way, first and foremost, Please recognize the number of people who raised your hands. Would you all raise your hands again? This is the human condition. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. You, 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 you beat yourself up expecting to be amazing. So when you see a sea of people from 40 countries raise their hand and go, oh, I too have focus and discipline. It's hard for me. I, I want you to feel good about that. I want you to go, oh man. I'm really hard on myself. No breakthrough is gonna come from more judgment. No breakthrough is gonna come from more judgment. What the breakthrough is gonna come from is another level of self-love and demand. Now, many of us in our lives, who's ever had a sudden demand placed on you and you kicked for like weeks? Now, keep your hand high if you are also one prone to lack of discipline and focus, but you still kick ass. That was necessity. That's demand. We need something bigger than our impulses to keep us focused. We need something bigger than how we feel to keep us disciplined. When we talk about service and we talk about dreams and we talk about mission, the truth of that really is we need that North Star to get us out of our funks. We need that North Star to get us out of bed. We need that North Star and a connection to it to organize ourselves. I don't think we have to solve, I have a focus problem, because you know what? I bet your focus problem is one reason your clients think, this guy's pretty creative. I bet you come up with a lot of different solutions and tools and frameworks that help people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Like you're Lots good at that. That's a weird <laughs> that's, <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. Now what we just have to do is have that why, that, that thing that's gonna organize you. And I think you told us a little about it. 
you know, transformation often starts with truth. And what's the truth that will happen if you don't handle this a little better? Because it sounds like we're already having some repercussions. Oh, yeah. What do you think that, what, what is that ultimate truth that you don't want to happen that would if we don't get this handled a little better? Oh, I'm going to lose my college sweetheart who took my breath away the first time I met her. It's scary. <laughs> so with that emotion now, tell me why you're not going to let that happen. Yes, because I can't. Why aren't you like, why won't you let it happen? Why what's, won't I what, let? What's so important about her and you two together? She's all I've ever known. I was 19 years old. And we, despite my best efforts, raised two amazing kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how we did that, but I tried like hell to screw him up, but who, it didn't work. Who wants to hang out on Saturday night with Matt? <laughs> sometimes discipline, sometimes distraction is really a disconnection on a daily basis of what matters. We're creating weird, but not saying, what's important for me today to ensure I don't screw up this relationship and this life? What matters today? What matters today? Not what big ideas, not what matters today for me to save this thing, for me to contribute to this thing? Because that why, listen, all everybody in this room, you had a demand on yourself. And the hardest thing about high performers and coaches, especially those who are creative, either that demand gets put on us or we have to find and access that demand with purpose, service, saving a relationship, being a better role model for the kids. I'm not so worried about you being distracted during the day. I'm worried about you having disconnected mornings from what matters. I need you to have that morning of connection with what matters. I need you to sit there and carve the time to go. Let me meditate on why I love her so much, on why I will fight for her so much, on why I will be a good role model for these kids. Because you're the one who has to put that demand on yourself. Not fear it will happen over here, but to put the demand on ourselves in the morning. And it's not comfortable, because no one loves that demand. But if you don't put it on yourself on the daily, you lose the week. And then you say, I'm unfocused. Nah, you didn't put the demand on yourself on the daily. It's why even me, a very unfocused guy, I have that card, who needs me on my A game? I look at that every day before I work, who needs me on my A game? And I know that if I'm not on my A game, people get hurt. My family gets hurt, my team gets hurt, and I won't let that happen and I feel that emotion, that strength in you, you won't let it happen either. You won't let it happen, not if you touch it every day, not if you did what we just did, right. not if you go, I will not lose her, she means the world to me. These kids who I didn't screw up, God bless them, let me earn them now. Because you know what? Maybe they're so good to make you start earning them now. You know? Absolutely. So now tell me with that, Matt. You're my coach. My name's Brendan. Coach. <laughs> I'm Brendan. Hi, Brendan. I'm Matt. Matt, I'm struggling with daily discipline and, and focus. I've got all this weird going on, and uh, I've done my best to screw up some relationships. And man, I don't, I don't know what I should do. What do you, what do you think I should do? What would you tell me to do? From your heart, not what I said, from your heart, from your heart. 
Tell me. I would ask you, what do you really want? And make sure that you know what that is. And then I would say, okay, how are you going to get that? What's it going to take? And if you've identified these things that are getting in your way, who can support you? Who can help you? What structures can you put in place? And what if you tell me all that and I don't do it? What, what do I do then? You got it. Well, I guess what we just discussed. Get focused in the morning so mm -hmm. that you focus on the day so you don't lose the week. Mm -hmm. Which is a pretty powerful statement. <laughs> Walk with me a minute. So, hold that microphone up for you. Let's walk. Yeah, just hold it. Oh, okay. We're walking and talking. Now, Matt. I'm your buddy. We're going to go out on Saturday. Cool. I mean, <laughs> and Matt, we're friends, and I'm going to tell you, my relationships in the are a little bit, buddy. And um, it's not going so good at work. You know? Yeah. What do I need to do? Well, Brendan, what do you want to do? Do you, I mean, if it's not going good at work, is it, is it work? If it's not going good at home, do you want to be with her? Is that important? She's the most important. Well, then you're gonna have to fight for her. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. It's Matt, ladies and gentlemen. You got it. That was it. Mm. Appreciate it. Amazing. That was it.